रिलेटिव अस्टेबिलिटी ऑफ आइसोमेरिकल किन्स कैन बी कंपेयर्ड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ following data one is heat of hydrogenation data so heat of hydrogenation data and it can also be compared on the basis of heat of combustion data let us consider following isomerical kins so this molecule is 1 butene and this molecule is cis 2 butene and this molecule is trans 2 butene let us call this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 these three alkenes are having same molecular formula and they are isomers so these alkenes are having same molecular formula and they are isomers if we do hydrogenation of these alkenes we will get the same products in all cases for example if i have one butene and if we do hydrogenation that is if we add hydrogen so we will have normal butane so this is your one butene this gives on hydrogenation n butane and delta h value that is heat of hydrogenation a standard heat of hydrogenation is known for this reaction and this is minus 30.3 kilo calorie per mole so this value is coming from experiment now let us say we have cis 2 butene now this molecule is hydrogenated once again we'll get the same product that is normal butane and this time a standard heat of hydrogenation value is minus 28.6 kilo calorie per mole similarly we can do hydrogenation of trans 2 butene in the presence of nickel we can add hydrogen and this is hydrogenation 
So this reaction is nothing but hydrogenation. And once again we will get the normal butane as the product. So we have N butane is the product. Double bond gets hydrogenated and in this case heat of hydrogenation value that is minus 27.6 kilocalorie per mole. And this value is coming from experiment. Now we can use these values that is heat of hydrogenation value to compare the relative stability of these three alkenes. So this is 1 and this is 2 cis 2 butene and this is 3 trans 2 butene. Now relative stability can be compared if we plot potential energy diagram. So let us say on the y axis we have potential energy So you see we can show each reactions on this potential energy diagram. Let us consider the first reaction. So we have 1 butene and the final product is N butane. So let us say we have 1 butene here and this is N butane. So this line shows N butane and this shows 1 butene. Now since the energy is released in this process, this means reactant has more energy and product has less energy. That is reactant will have high potential energy and product will have low potential energy. And now when we add one mole of hydrogen, we have a release of 30.3 kilocalorie. So when we add hydrogen, there is a release of 30.3 kilocalorie per mole of energy. Now similarly we can show for cis 2 butene. Now this is cis 2 butene. In this case energy released is 28.6 kilocalorie. Now the product is again same. So we can show this diagram something like this. So this is cis 2 butene. Now in this case energy released is 28.6. So this energy is higher, this energy is lower, that's why cis 2 butene will have low potential energy compared to 1 butene. Similarly, we can show trans 2 butene and in this case energy released is 27.6. So this will have even less potential energy. And product is same, that is N butane. So this is the N butane line. So we have trans 2 butene. And in this case energy released is 27.6. So from this diagram we can say 1 butene will have highest potential energy. So this is least stable. And trans 2 butene will have lowest potential energy. And this is most stable. So a stability order is. 1 butene is the least stable and then we will have cis 2 butene and then we will have trans 2 butene. So this is the stability order. Now this method that is value of heat of hydrogenation can be used to compare the relative stability is only useful when the product is same. So this method of comparison
is only useful or is only valid when the final product when the final product is same for all isomerical keen for all alkenes and then we can only compare the heat of hydrogenation data to compare the relative stability of alkenes so this is about heat of hydrogenation data and relative stability of alkenes we can also use heat of combustion data to compare the relative stability